What is good, everybody? I'm Kirby One, and welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. Um, last time we were here, we faced off against the fearful Lord Arcanine over on his island, his volcano island, um, in the Molten Arena. Took a couple tries, but eventually got around to beating him. First two tries were learning experience, third try got screwed by RNG, and the fourth try was the was the one, I guess. Um, then, so after that, I kind of took up most of what we did. Did I just get Basky Legion last video? Yeah, I may have. Or just used Basque Legion to get over there. Two videos ago we got Basque Legion, but that was kind of the end of the video. Then at the start of the f start of last video, swam over there on Basque Legion. Went up around the volcano, had to beat the Misfortune Sisters there, who stole the wrong Growlithe, and then the young Growlithe, that is the Lord's heir, got to the volcano and transformed or evolved into the legendary lord Arcanon. So now so now this region has a lord again and um, Paulina and Iskin are working together, I don't know. Hanging out with no shame now because she's got a she's got board and stuff to actually do now. So yeah, so now we just have to go report to the commander of the situation out here, but I just want to show as a side note, which you guys may have already seen. But look at this chonky. Chonky's feel. Look at it compared to its regular counterparts. It's an alpha feel. Come here, other feels. Come here, other feels. Uh, switch. Someone want you want a snack? This feel does. Come on, feel. You want this snack? But just look at it. Look. Oh, look at them. Look at the size comparison. This feel is so cute. I mean, both feels are cute. But a freaking giant's feel? Are you kidding me? It's almost as tall as I am. It's like up to my chest, anyways. Very good feel. Back in the ball you go. So, as a side note, I was doing some research, doing some googling, because it is possible for even regular Pokemon to become Alpha Pokemon. You do have the main Alpha spawning Pokemon, like that Drapion that I just turned around and looked at on the beach, or the Whale Rin that's just further down the beach this way. Um, but, um, it does turn out that even though it's a small chance, you can get regular alpha Pokemon. Or like regular Pokemon can spawn as alphas. Um, all you gotta do is like reload the map. And by reloading the map, I mean advance the time of day. Um, there's a whole freaking algorithm behind it. Like there's a queue up of spawned Pokemon so every time you advance the day the queue the queue moves up the spawn and so in the queue there are alpha spheels in the queue to randomly spawn. So I just thought that was that was crazy. So I worked I did that last night. It was just Re changing the time of day, checking the beach, changing the time of day, check the beach, change the time of day, check the beach, till I got myself this alpha feel, and now I think I'm on a path that I can, uh, I think I need three for that dude in the galaxy building. I fear that I am on a path that I cannot return from, so, even though I have this Ralts here, Involving it, I believe that uh, all my Pokemon, aside from uh, Pyro, there are 
aside from Pyro, are going to be alphas. Just to have a team of giant Pokemon, because I think that's hilarious. So, that's, that's my, that's the path I'm choosing. So, wish me luck, to say the least. And I also caught a bunch of skills because I was just doing my Pokedex entry. Oh! And if you've seen there at the beginning, I caught an unknown. I found an unknown on the uh, freaking on the freaking volcano side. Spiegel. Caught heavy specimens, caught specimens. Number defeated, times he's given it food. Glamia. I caught, a, caught an alpha Glamia last night because it was just there. It's just like, because Glamia spawned like right down the hill. So I was just coming back to camp one night and lo and behold, there's an alpha Glamia. Oh, something about the Lord Arcanine. Oh, let's tell Commander Commando the good news then, shall we? Back to Cube Life to go. Um, which got me thinking because earlier yesterday, just when I was doing some leveling up some grinding there was a uh, there's a couple alpha geo dudes on deer track heights so that's what got me curious and then seeing the alpha glamio in coastland in the coastlands there i was like yay i don't think this is just a coincidence right so that's got got me researching googling and it turns out, yeah, that regular Pokemon, outside of, the, like, the alpha spawns that spawn in the regions and, you know, will respawn in that region, you can just get the random encounter of, yeah, regular Pokemon becoming alphas. So, there you go. Which is why, like I said, I fear I'm, <laughs> I'm down a path that I cannot return from, but it'll be a path well worth it, I think. Why, hello again, wonderful timing as always. I see, <clears throat> you really came to my rescue with that pickling stone, you know. You're quite the little helper. So I wonder if I can impose on you again for help with a new pickle proposal of mine. I was down by the sea gathering fresh ingredients recently when, wouldn't you know it, an artillery, artillery popped up and sprayed me with ink. But here's the thing, the ink, well it actually tasted rather good. Inspiration quite literally struck me at that moment. I knew I could use this ink to create pickles, the likes of which the world has never seen. The making food out of a Pokemon, out of something a Pokemon has spat up, seems risky to say the least, no? So little research on artillery is in order, I think. <clears throat> That's where you come in, dear. If you learn more about artillery, please let me know. I don't think they have a completed Pokedex. On artillery. Oh, I am just. What am I doing? Oh, I'm switching. Not completed. Caught one. <sighs> Alright. Yeah, I caught. Uh, just go back there. Why? I caught the letter B. Where it says, turn, turn your eyes up. Up at the Volcano Island, which I didn't really read beforehand, because I was like, eh, if I look for unknowns, I'm going to be unknown hunting. It's probably best to do at the end of the game with everything at your disposal. But, um, I was just, uh, going for some, there's some tumble stones, like, here's the arena, and so if you walk this way, that's the path, right? But you can, uh, but there's like tumble stones up here in this little uh, patch, but it's on a different elevation, so it's pretty hard to get to. But me and Weird Ear Billy go up there, and then I'm getting tumble stones. And I turn to look at the volcano, and I'm like, something's on the side of the volcano. And then I look closer, and it's like, oh, like right here, basically, where this little, you know, little land bridge is connected to the center of the volcano then up on the side it's like 
there's something up there. And then when you know, it's like, oh, yeah, that's an unknown. Let's go. So then, uh, couldn't quite catch it. I figured maybe you needed like a different Pokemon to get close to it, but I just used actually a fly ball, which flies, a uh, feather ball, which flies further than the regular Pokeball and end up catching it. Great ball set for three thousand dollars, you say? I don't know if I can afford it. Come great balls, all right. This guy coming in clutch. Three thousand dollars for twenty great balls? Who is that? Three thousand divided by twenty. Three hundred divided by two. No. One fifty per ball, I guess. That's not bad. Uh, now, before you buy a wee treat, lend me your ear a moment, would you, lad? Came up with a new treat using candy truffles, but it's caused me nothing but sorrow. Every last person who tries to, it says it's beyond saving. A complete disaster, utterly terrible. I've had to shell this new creation, and there it remains in a salty puddle of my bitter tears. It's likely never, it'll likely never see the light of day again. It seems like I'll never be able to pull a profit from my creation, but I'd at least like to share my recipe with someone, lest it be forgotten entirely. You like making things with your own hands, don't you? I could share my recipe with you. I've got plenty of candy truffles to spare, but you'll need to bring a soot foot root, a springy mushroom, and a hopeful berry. Got that? Okay. Okay, let's head in here then. Report to the commander. Check out the message board first. We'll go talk to the guy in the basement first. <clears throat> There's something else I thought I had to do in the building. I think it was just a quest. But still, have to help feed a Piplub. Watering with care. No. No more waves. No. No more new wares. Okay, let me see. I'm serving up swap snacks. Oh, this one. Bean cake. Guess you'd help. Help Pippa to famish. She asked you to help. I think. So maybe in the supply core wing of the building. This is the infirmary with Miss Joy looking chick. None of you guys know what I'm looking for. I need a bean cake recipe. In the Hoenn region. Oh, well, she didn't request about Progon. Member of the Diamond Clan told me that they make medicine by diluting Progon's poison. Medicine made from Progon's poison can apparently relieve pain in the lower back. I'd love to have some to give Buck. Poor gentleman's bedridden from back pain. I know how to make the medicine, so I'll need is. All I need is some help getting my hands on program poison. Would the Crimson Myrland catch my program, would you? I think I have one. Somewhere. Right there, I got one. <clears throat> Here, have a program. Yeah, take it. Take it. So this is program. Got a charming little face, hasn't it? Yeah, he's pretty mellow. Need a smidgen of your poison, please, program. Would you be so kind? Who, me? I guess so. Thanks very much. Now to whip up that medicine. There yeah, there we have it. This ought to be super effective. Pokemon come to our aid in surprising ways sometimes, don't they? I bet we'd be able to help an even greater range of people and Pokemon if we could set up some kind of aid facility where Pokemon work side by side with us. Of course, we'll need to learn much more about Pokemon if that's ever to happen. 
starting to think the survey corps work will help us in ways people aren't even aware of Pissell, not pulled back it's screaming one moment i've got a medicine that ought to get be of great help it looks like we'll have buck up on his feet again thanks to you and program cool Krogunk's gonna hang out here now. I'm keeping Krogunk. Who are you, Inko? Inko Guild member? We can gather rare materials from far flung places. You'll be able to craft all sorts of items. Oh, thanks. This guy. And some pop parts. Survey crew called the Lady of the Ridge. What can I do for you? You're running errands for Choi again, sending a customer to negotiate for him once is bad enough, but twice, where's his spine? Pressure me for goods when I'm already tearing my hair out trying to get pop pods, sheesh. Oh, excuse me. You've got pop pods, would you let me have some, please? Yes, three. Uh, pop pods, the cobalt coastline's finest feature. You'll often find these fine sea vegetables washed ashore. The best known as a key ingredient in scatterbangs, those lively items for scaring off Pokemon. Alright, I won't send you back to Troy a failure. Since you kindly brought me these pop pods, <clears throat> I'll tell him I'll set him up with some new wares. Well, that is something we can do. <clears throat> Let me step back outside. There's that guy that keeps increasing my satchel number indefinitely. <clears throat> this is the construction core. Should be nice gather materials and peace and have safe home to come back to. Oh ah, yeah. This is security core room. Fighting up Pokemon is much better than fighting against them, don't you think? Here we have... Nothing phases me, I'm cool, collected type. I came to see if the Sui's as dangerous as they say. I can't remember where that Pip Club's recipe was. I thought it was in here. But I might, if I want to do that task, go back and talk to that lady. Where the recipe is at. Can read some of the agriculture tours notes. Current goals: expand arable land areas, cure more farmlands to meet labor demands. Could Pokémon be of use in this regard? Under discussion. Yeah, I'm sure they probably could be. Wait a second. Is this construction? No. The other lady's the leader of the construction. Isn't she? Isn't this the construction one? I know I can't read the board. No, this gotta be the construction one. Look at the construction materials in here. <clears throat> Anyways, enough wasting time. Thought maybe you could actually read that, but you can't. Maybe can you read that one? All right, let's talk to Commodore. Get the show on the road. You did it. Hmm. You did well on your mission in the Cobalt Coastlands. Your efforts there aided not only the Galaxy Team but the Pearl Clan as well. I do hope your efforts will also have an impact on the space-time rift, however, somehow. If we are able to get rid of that rift, it should clear any lingering doubts about your origins. Though, how we might actually close the rift, I haven't the slightest idea. Remain true to the mission. We can do. We can do. And potato mo 
ulti. If you notice that today's demo ulti tastes a bit different, well that's because I used a Pokemon's Flame to roast them. Bon Appetit. Aren't we supposed to be in Japan? <laughs> the birth of a new Lord Pokemon. What a sight that must have been. If only I had journeyed to Firespit Island to witness the event myself. Well, it wasn't really the birth, but sure. I have a hard time imagining you making that trip on Basket Legion's back, Professor. Come now, you know my coordination is so poor I couldn't even hit my own foot with a Pokeball. I can't dodge Pokemon attacks to quite literally save my own skin. Of course, I can't possibly ride atop a fearsome beast like Basket Legion. That being said, we'd all do well to remember these wise words. The ever-striving soul is rewarded in the end. And strive I shall for the sake of my research. I will surely write a Pokemon one day and record the experience in our Pokedex for all posterity. Just you watch. <clears throat> yeah, it proves you. He'll show you, Akari. The next day. Good night's sleep. Stretch it out. Oh, yeah. Who are you, some old dude? Good morning, good sir. You came from the sky. Commander Commodore told me to let you know he awaits your arrival in his office. Okay, who are you? You look like you drive boats. You're a ship captain. Kirby, I have your next orders. You must go to the pro. Coronet Highlands to quell another frenzied noble, Electrode, Lord of the Hollow. Uh oh. Electrode has a pro propensity to store up electricity in its body, then unleash it. But since Electrode became frenzied, those electrical outbursts have become giant blasts. Hmm. We'll be enlisting the Pearl Clan's aid in securing you safe passage to Electrode's seat. I've sent word ahead of Tier to asking. No, no, you don't have permission to go up the. We'll save it as if I'll be stopped by the likes of you. Now out of my way. Well. Oh. Well, yo. Hey ho, boss man Commodore. I thought it might have slipped your mind to send me an invite, so I took the liberty of stopping by anyway. Is this the warden? Melly, where are your manners? We're having an important conversation. Well, there's your issue right there, Adamin. Uh, how exactly do you, do you intend to discuss Electro without me? It's Mighty Warden, here to weigh in. There's no more to discuss. We've already asked Kirby to quell the Lord of the Hollow. Oh, come on. It, it, is it me you're trying to humiliate here, or our entire clan? Besides, do you really think this flimsy little noodle can quell Electrode? Okay, easy there. She's got a grumpy face. Commander, I'm sincerely sorry for this heedless interruption. Okay, no mind. Seems even security corps personnel I train myself cannot stop one so capable as Warden Melly. That being said, yes. It is clear that the security corps needs even further rounds of training from me later. Hear that, Melly? The security corps will sob themselves to sleep tonight thanks to you. Commander sumo moves can send even boulders flying. Hmm. No, no, that will do. Kirby, you have your orders. See to it that Electrode is quelled. Warden Melly, of course, we would appreciate your help if there's anything you might assist with. Nod of approval. Now go. Now go. Scaling perilous heights. <clears throat> Listen, Melly, the Galaxy team, well, at least Kirby, is amazing and will prove it. Follow me outside. Is he gonna battle me? Is he gonna want a Pokemon battle? Battle Aftman? Oh, yeah. I guess so, the game tells me so. Oh, you also have an Eeveelution that is weak to my Typhlosion. All right, Kirby, go around with me. You bet. 
Nelly, make sure you watch closely now. Nope. Stubborn. No way, Jose. Go, Pyro. If that doesn't shake you in your boots, I don't know what will. You got an easy friend, too. Flamethrower. Roasted. Roasted leaves. Ouch. Not my offensive stats. Think the strong tile rollout? It's only 50 though. Let's go with another flamethrower. Roast the EV2. Roasted him. Battle decided. Let's go. You see now how good Kirby is now? Yes? No more sneering at him. She's got a grudge. Now I think our helper from the Pearl Clan was going to meet you at the training grounds once you're ready. Till later, Kirby. Glad to have your help as always. Nelly, shift your shift yourself unless you want to get even more of an earful than you're already due for. Oh, oh come on, Adamant. Cut me some slack here. Kirby! That's me. Join me in the Survey Corps office. We'll go over the particulars of your new mission. Man, everyone's just... So much demands from me. Your survey work will take you to Coronet Highlands next. To Mount Coronet, maybe? You'll be on the Rift's doorstep. There's no telling what perils await. Your current rank qualifies you to conduct research in the Coronet Highlands. But you will need... Help from a particular person to survey and ultimately quell this electrode. Go to the training grounds, you should find them there. More requests, eh? Seas Legend. No? Oh. Oh, jolly good choice there, Kirby. I see you've taken on that request I posted. Let me fill you in right away then. I was strolling along Prelude Beach the other day when I saw something swimming a little way out from the shore. Rather regrettably, it disappeared before I could snap a picture, but I can only assume this mysterious swimmer was some sort of Pokemon. From the way it swam, it seemed to be drifting on the ocean currents. Now, if I'm not mistaken, from the seas behind Jubilife, that would take it all the way to the Cobalt coastlands. This rather leaves me wondering if the Pokemon was headed there for some specific purpose. Given the circumstances, I was thinking that if we spoke with the good warden Iskin of the Diamond Clan, we might learn more. Well, when he just pops up right here, I don't even have to go go see him. You got your message, Professor Lavington. So, uh, you're looking for a Pokemon that was swimming towards the Cobalt coastlines, yes? Well, um, I'm very sorry, but I can't tell you much based on that alone. But, well, there's one thing I can tell you. I've heard that long ago the Cobalt Coastlands was known as the East Sea, and a princely Pokemon was said to live in the waters there. The story of this princely Pokemon can be found in a tome called The Sea's Legend, but no one knows much, much about the oh, no one knows much about either the tome or its tale beyond what I've just told you. <clears throat> so uh that's all I know. I guess I wasn't much help after all. Sorry about that. I'll um I'll just take my leave here then. Solve the mystery of the sea legends and catch the Pokemon that Professor Lamb can solve. Alright. Well, I think that just about wraps up time. We can talk to the Pearl Warden at the training grounds next video. So what am I going to do at this rate? I'll make real food out of myself in front of... Make a real fool out of myself in front of Conlon. Eh, hello. You're one of those kids from the Survey Corps, right? Uh, you might actually be just the person I need to help me out with a little research. 
My boy Conlin and I are planning to head to Prelude Beach at night to try and find the ghosts that are rumored to haunt the place. But ghosts scare the daylights out of me. Uh, my son. Yep, he's terrified of them. You'd think we could just not go and call it a day, but no, I'm afraid his little heart's set on this. But, uh, you know, a fellow can't stay scared of ghosts forever, right? It's just too tragic. For my boy, I mean. Yeah, right. So maybe if I study up on ghosts, I can find a way to help my boy conquer his fears. If you've got any research data on spooky Pokemon, Ghastly would be a good one. I'd be mighty grateful if you'd share it with me. Do I have a complete Ghastly one? I guess not. Complete Ghastly entry. Yeah, I'll go round up these uh, side requests and... Um, that's the pasture. Go round up these side requests and uh, the next video we'll go talk to the Pearl Warden. I do like how <clears throat> with each new land we keep switching kind of back and forth between the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. So like in this, in the Obsidian Fieldlands we got a Diamond Clan rideable Pokemon. And then we helped a Pearl Clan Noble Pokemon. And then, of course, it flops here. Helped a Noble Diamond Clan Pokemon. Got a rideable Pearl Clan Pokemon. Which still might be an... I guess it's still a Noble. Because the Warden's looking after it, so... But, like, the Frenzy keeps switching back and forth. So we had a Frenzied Pearl Clan Pokemon. And we got the aid of a Noble Diamond Clan Pokemon. And now we're switching back, so it's gonna a frenzy diamond clan Pokemon. And of course, a helpful Pearl Clan noble Pokemon. God. Probably over explain that, but the way it just switches back and forth is kinda nice. You know. Just you know, makes it more seem balanced anyways. Even though it seems like there's only gonna be an odd number of frenzied Pokemon to face. Looks like there's only room there for two more faces. But where would another region be, I guess? One, two, three, probably like four somewhere here. So unless there's a fifth region here. Or fifth region way up here. Possibly, maybe, I guess. Could be a fifth region well all the way up here. Because this, yeah. Mount Coronet's got to be this mountain, the tallest mountain in the region, and the center of the, what will be the Sinnoh region, the center of the Hisui region as well. Anyways, guys, <clears throat> that will do it for today. So, I'd like to thank you so much for tuning in. If you want to help out the channel, you can like, subscribe, comment, do any and all those things if you enjoyed the video today. And, as we say up here in Canada, peace out!